I don't know if any of you have ever used a game making program, but it's really weird to think that this terrain here uh, was probably sculpted out, meaning they just kind of pulled out bits and whatnot. And that tree is made of wooden branches and the ground. <laughs> if you look down by the end of the branches here, not the branches, but the roots, they're not separate from the ground. They literally took the sculpting thing and just drug a piece of the ground <laughs> super high up in the sky and then shoved branches all over the thing. So there's a bunch of trees here in Darken 3 that are just made out of ground. It's weird to think about. In other news, fighting as a master is pretty interesting because I'm getting to fight in places I don't normally get to. I know that we ended up skipping over them on Normal Life. Or Normal Life. <laughs> Pre-master, I should say. But, like, I was just doing circles around those trees over there earlier fighting these Nodder Peas. Some of them around here, but the weird squirrel things. We need a lot more quest items than we did uh, the first time around. Although the person that we have to give them to is in that Vulcane dungeon, so that's pretty annoying. But yeah, I was doing circles around there, killing the Nodder Peas, and you know, that's not something I normally kill. Usually I go to Azria somewhere around then, or... Uh, it's tough to say, because they're like level 68 or something, so around there is when I'm fighting cranes? It's kind of strange. And so it's really nice to be able to go into Master, and then when you're thinking like, Oh, now I have to do it all again. It's not necessarily true, because this time around... I got all the crazy equipment at a low level, and I can just take these things on, even though these are level 72 and I'm level 63. I'm doing this w with zero problem whatsoever. There's not a P right there, one of these things. Like, it's a higher level than me, and watch how fast I, I kill it. Boop, 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 boop. If it wasn't for the lag there, it usually takes like one or two hits. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. And so anyway, I'm going around just collecting a bunch of quest items from random monsters I've never fought before. And I just wanted to say how interesting that is. The Nodder Piece had a crazy small spawn, though. I had to run around those circles. I had to run in circles around that tree. And there's probably about five around that tree. So it took a little while to get their quest items. Now I'm fighting on the cool uh, water pools with the booze. These stupid zombies are really, really annoying because they're everywhere. And I look on the map like, oh, where's the next monster? And like 90% of the time, it's a zombie. And so yeah, I just wanted to give you that little update. Uh, the weird one about the ground trees. And just kind of show you me fighting in this little area here. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty fun. Got to figure out a price on some new axes. I used to say that these are my favorite axes, but... There's actually two more that I uh, would prefer over these. Uh, I don't know which one I want to get. One of them I can get at level 75 master, or another one I can get at 120 master, or technically 110 if I wanted to use a reduction scroll. And I feel like as much as I like the red ones at 120, um, the ones at level 75 would match my set a little bit better and would probably be a little bit easier to get my hands on and the level 4, so I'm going to go for those. I just don't know where to get them because they're really rare and this game doesn't have enough players. I know they're out there, but just finding someone who will sell them to me, and it's even harder because once you put them on, they're bound to your character and you can't get rid of them. So that makes it even harder to find an available one for sale. <laughs> anyway, I, that's all I have to say. Uh, back with your regularly scheduled program.